The PBA has sent the ball back in the court of the Samhang Basketball NG Pilipinas. What SBP will do with it in the next few days is unknown. I a press conference called an hour before Game 1 of the PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals Friday, the league reaffirmed its commitment to lend players to the national team even as it expressed disappointment at SBP's sudden decision not to send a squad to next month's Indonesia Asian Games. PBA governors said they were taken aback by SBP's pullout, announced on social media late Thursday night from the quadrennial meet hours after rain or shine got the green light from SPP to represent the country under former Raz coach and current NLEX mentor Yang Giao. All out parin kami, ang rain or shine, kahit ngayon, kahit bukas, PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall said in the press room of the Smart Araneta Coliseum. SBP announced shortly before midnight two days ago that it was skipping the ASEAN despite rain or shine's commitment to carry the national colors, the decision that didn't sit well with local basketball fans. Philippine Olympic Committee President and PBA Chairman Ricky Vargas, in a phone patch interview arranged by Marshall earlier in the day, spared the league from any fault, citing the schedule the PBA had set earlier in the season. Vargas, who also acts as PBA chairman, seconded SBP's statement of having to take the one step backward, two steps forward approach that will focus not only on the FIBA World Cup qualifiers but also the country's hosting of the 2023 World Cup. Several members of the board pleaded for understanding after fans, particularly those on social media, blamed the league for refusing to lend players to the PH team after Giao had expressed interest in reinforcing the core of the rain or shine. The board cited multiple discussions with Hill as coach Chot Reyes months ago, where he apparently indicated his preference to skip the ASEAN, a direction that was abandoned later on after the board agreed to have the core of TNT Catropa as the country's representative to the Games. The plan, however, was shelved after four TNT players, Jason Castro, Terence Romeo, Roger Pogoy and Troy Rosario, and naturalized player Andre Blatch were suspended by FIBA for their roles in the brawl against Australia in the World Cup qualifiers. While the suspension does not carry over to the Asian Games, SBP President Al Pan Lilio said it would be better from a moral standpoint not to include Blatch and the four TNT players from the national team, paving the way for the offer of rain or shine to take TNT's place. It's not true that San Miguel or any team has no interest in lending players, it's a matter of scheduling, said San Miguel Sports Director Al Francis Chua, also the Ginebra governor. Asked if the fiasco has led to a rocky relationship between SBP and the PBA, Marshall and the league governors said the matter is basically a miscommunication between the two parties. Please do understand the PBA will support flag and country, but let's put it in proper perspective said Phoenix's Raymond Zarilla. Other board members present were San Miguel's Robert Non, Magnolia's Rene Pardo, Alaska's Dickie Bachman, Global Port's Eric Arajola and Colombian Dips Bobby Rosales.